Hello and welcome to another Turning Point instructional video. In this video we're going to be looking at installing and registering your copy of Serve PC. This is something you're going to need to do if you have a new data collector or if you're upgrading your software. And the first thing we need to know is what's your current version and what is your serial number. So right here we're in Serve PC version 5. We're under the Equip tab and the option we want is about Carlson Serve PC. Now, if you're in Serve PC version 6, this is actually going to be under the File tab. It's going to be right down here. And for this version, it's under the Equip tab. So we're going to hit About Carlson Serve PC. And this is going to tell you your current version. We're at 5.08.14, released March 12th, 2018. This is where your user info would normally appear, and these are the different modules that you can have enabled. Now, if all you're doing is adding uh, a new module, say I'm adding robotics to my data collector, all you need to do is register your serial number. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. If you are upgrading, like I have version 5. If I'm going from version 5 to version 6, I would then need to download and install Serve PC version 6 and then register my serial number. So if you're just adding a module, you would come over here to change registration. This is going to list your serial numbers. Sometimes you'll have a demo serial number here. Once you get your serial number from either Carlson or from us here at Turning Point, you're going to need to add it to this list. So you come over here to the right and click Add. And enter your new serial number. Click OK. And once you do, it'll show up in this list. All you got to do is click it to highlight it. And it should say Unregistered here under Status. Once it's highlighted, come over here and click Register and that'll start the registration process. And if that's all you need to do, then go ahead and skip towards the end of the video, the registration process. Otherwise, stick with us for the installation of a new version. So for those of you who need to upgrade your Sur PC version, we're gonna look at the installation process. So right now, I'm running version five. I need to upgrade this to version six. The first thing I need to do is go to Carlson's website and download the installation file. I'm going to put a link to this below the video. And this is where we come up. This is the Serve PC download page. It defaults to version 6. You can download uh, older versions if you need to. Um, and here's where we're going to look in the downloads list. Right now it's just a couple of PDFs, like the manual. What we need to do is put in our serial number and put in your email address and then we click show files and that will reveal the installation file and the downloads list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to a demo version of Sur PC 6.0 that you can download uh, before you get your full serial number just so you can get a head start on the process. But I already have my file so I'm going to go down to my file explorer to my Downloads tab, and I'm just going to double click it. It says Serve PC 6.0 Setup.exe. I'm just going to double click this to run it. It's going to start the installation process. So it brings you to a wizard. Go ahead and click Next to start the installation. Read through your license agreement. Accept the terms in the agreement and click Next. And then click Install. And then we'll go through the installation process. It's going to warn us that some programs are running that needs to be closed. Uh, one of these is Serve PC, so we can actually go to Serve PC 
and close that down while we're upgrading. And the default option is automatically close and attempt to restart, which is what I usually do. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always choose do not close applications. Uh, it might require a restart. And I will click OK. And we'll go through the installation process. All right, so once you've finished the installation, next thing you need to do is find your Carlson Serve PC icon. Either on the desktop here, you can double click it, or you can go to your start menu and look through your programs list. It'll be under Carlson Software. You can just single click, and that's going to open the program. Mine's got a countdown timer on it because I've had the demo for a while. When you are going to register your software, you want to make sure your data collector is connected to the internet. So down here under your Wi-Fi icon, it's actually under the logo, but it looks like this. Your Wi-Fi icon, make sure your data collector is connected to the internet so that the registration can go through to Carlson. And once you get in, you might see something that says you can enter the serial number straight away. I'm just going to click OK to show you how to find it through the menu. And you'll get a bunch of uh, uh, unregistered notes. Just say OK. Uh, we can continue last job. And we don't need to connect to an instrument. So under the File tab, we're going to go to About Carlson Serve PC. You can see I have our version 6 installed. To add our serial number, we go to Change Registration. So you can see we already got our demo serial number in here. And to add the one we just got, we want to click Add. And I'm just going to paste mine into this box. I'm going to cover it up because this is my serial number. And click OK. It's added to the list. It's currently showing as unregistered. So you want to highlight it like this in blue and click Register. And the Registration Wizard, first box is going to say Register to obtain a change key. You want to make sure you have that one selected. Click Next. And this is the different reasons you might have for registering this software. If you have a new data collector or if you're adding a module like GPS or robotics to your software, you're going to use Option 1. And click Next. Enter your user information, uh, your name, company, best phone number to reach you, and your email address. This is the same email address where your uh, uh, registration info is going to be sent after the process is done. So click Next. And normally this is going to say automatic registration successful. Um, and that's the end of the process. Um, I've already used this serial number before, so it's it's not going to let me register it. Uh, if I click OK, it's going to fail. Um, that's because I've already used this one before, but uh, if you're registering a new one, uh, you click that OK, and it's going to come up to this page, and this page is going to show you the details of your registration, and the same information is going to be emailed to that uh, email address that you put in your user info. And that's the end of the process. Alright, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.